you know, I thought our defensive effort was much better. Our focus was better. Um, it was one of those games where, you know, guys were making shots, making plays, and it's hard to say, don't do it. So, um, but I liked our, our focus. I thought we made Haywood work, which was our focus going in. He only had, what, 16 points. Um, had to have 15 attempts to get him. So the guys worked, stayed with that. I thought uh, uh, T. Ross and James Johnson came in and gave us a great effort against him. Uh, again, defense is a key, you know, we're, you know, we, but again, offensively, we shot the ball well. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's possible to have a quiet 38 points. It doesn't seem that Kyle had 38 points. Yeah, it's 39. 39. 39. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know either. Uh, but again, he was efficient, 13 for 22, <clears throat> which was pretty efficient. We shot 57%. So again, we still have to have attention to the defensive end as the competition uh, gets stiffer and where we need to go and trying to go. Uh, we have to have a, a focus on the defensive end. And I thought the focus was there. It wasn't like, this is a tough place to play on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, you know, years we were in Seattle, this is by far the toughest place to play. So uh, my hat's off to guys for bouncing back from a, in a back-to-back -back situation. Uh, now we got to go home and take care of some business at home and, and um, you know, continue, continue focusing on defense. After 20 that Lakers game, uh, the 28 shots, you talked about Kyle finding that balance between the taking on some of DeMar's scoring and, and doing his facilitating. Are, are, are you seeing that now over the last he's couple He's doing games? a good job. He's, doing, he's taking what the game has given him. Uh, even with the 28 in, a, in an overtime, yeah. I, I don't know if he forced the shots. He may, you know, he was taking what the defense was giving him. So, uh, but he's trying, he's finding the balance. He's, you know, helped quarterback him from the one, two, one position. So that's important. Again, I thought Luke came in and had a little pop after, and bounced back from last night. I thought that was big. Dwayne, attitudinally, your team over the last two years has a winning record on the second night of back-to-back. -back. You said you talked to them tonight, but what do you sense from them on that second night where you can easily give in to back-to-back -back legs? We're, we're developing a business approach, a professional approach, a mature approach about the game, and that's what you, you ask for from a team um, like this that's young. But we came in and take to take care of business, and it wasn't any bull crap. It wasn't any laughing and joking around. Guys came in with a, a, a focused attitude. Uh, you know, to start the game. I know you're trying to get you know the defensive message across. Is it getting harder though when when they get out to these leads and stuff? I mean, I watched in the third quarter there early on, it started to slip away, and you called a timeout, and you got you got pretty animated in the timeout. Is it? Yeah, it, it is. I mean, it's, it's a lot of games, yeah. Michael. It's a lot of games, and you know the, what we're trying to do now is a little bit different than uh, you know from what you know we want to have a defensive focus. And again, uh, my, my hat is off to the guys for a back-to-back -back night here with altitude, uh, big minutes, and you lose an hour, get in late. So uh, I thought the effort was, I don't think tonight's a different story as far as the lack of defensive focus. Um, you know, it's a little bit different than, than that. I thought, you know, we were trying to conserve energy more than anything else, which here is, is understandable. Dwayne Patrick said that we realize that not all the stuff we do shows up on the stat sheet. I was watching him in particular showing hard on screens, helping and recovering. Again, more of a focus with guys huge. just playing their roles. Huge. You know, those little things are huge. The crackbacks, the tags were better tonight. And those things will show up, uh, you know, in, in a close game. And those things, what we got to do, and those are the things when I say we're not playing, having a defensive focus, we weren't doing. It's not like, you know, you can guard a guy and challenge it. He still makes it. You can't say that's bad defense. But what you can do is look at tag, non-tags, non-rotations, not challenging with the commitment, with conviction. Uh, all those things is what are you saying that there's not a defensive focus.